Welcome to Webstar Plus. I have discovered something amazing. You see, time is important. Do you have a long article, blog or a PDF to read? You can summarize it and read it in a few seconds. It will save so much of your time and help accomplish a lot in small amount of time. It is an efficient way to stay informed and up to date on anything. In this video, I am going to show you how can you summarize any blog, article, web page, text or PDF. You can use ChatGPT directly or indirectly to achieve it. But there is a trick. It's hidden by default. I will show you an option that allows you to do it. Let's generate long text using ChatGPT. To summarize it, type summarize this. And this is summary for this whole text. If ChatGPT does not summarize, type summarize and provide this question that you typed above. Or copy text from anywhere, type summarize, paste the text and ChatGPT will summarize it. This is how you summarize the text. If you have a web page, article or PDF to summarize, you can copy text paste in chat gpt to summarize it straightforward right okay for urls type summarize and paste url of web page article or pdf chat gpt will summarize online content and this is summary for this web page let's take another article Copy URL, summarize, article URL, paste, and here is the summary. Let's take this PDF. Copy URL, summarize, PDF URL, and this is the summary for that PDF file. Let's take a complex PDF file. Now this is a really complex PDF file to summarize. Copy the URL, summarize PDF URL, and it successfully summarized complex data from this PDF file. So ChatGPT is summarizing online articles and PDFs. But some say ChatGPT cannot access the internet. Can ChatGPT access the internet? Let's ask it. Can you access internet? As an AI language model, I do not have access to the internet by myself. So it says it cannot. Then how can you summarize an online article if I provide a URL? I can summarize an online article if you provide me with a URL by using a process called web scraping. So it can use web scraping techniques. Can you summarize any web page online? Some websites may have technical measures in place to prevent web scraping, which would prevent me from summarizing the content. ChatGPT says it can use web scraping to extract content from web pages so it can indirectly access internet. It also says that some web pages implement techniques to prevent web scraping that makes it difficult to extract online content. But there are still ways to do it. I'm going to show you how. This is Microsoft Edge web browser. It's got GPT integrated in it. It can summarize any web page, but there's a secret option that you have to enable from it in order to do that. Okay, so from this website, let's open an article. From top right corner, click at Bing icon. A sidebar opens. Click the broom icon for new topic. And it already gave some takeaways from this page. In the input field, you can also type generate page takeaways. I'll have to sign in again. Let's click at this broom icon for new topic. Generate page takeaways.
And here is the summary for this web page. Type generate page takeaways or type key takeaways from this page. It will generate summary of the page. Now this is another page containing a PDF file. Click at new topic and it says some takeaways from this page are here. Let's type key takeaways from this page. And here is the summary of this page in different format from this one. This is another PDF file. Click add new topic. Key takeaways from this page and summary from this PDF file will be generated like this. This page provides information about different types of processors and their typical users. All right, now this PDF is considerably complex. Click at new topic and it is suggesting option to generate page takeaways. Let's click at it. And here is the summary. This document provides a comparison chart of Intel Core laptop processors. The chart includes information such as processor number, Intel Core generation, brand identifier, and so on and so forth. So this thing is important. You click broom icon for new topic for each web page before you generate this summary it will reset the page context for web browser so if ChatGPT can't do it use microsoft edge web browser and bing search to do it but you might not be able to do it unless you enable an option to enable that option click three dots go to settings click sidebar click discover and enable page context. I have enabled it already. Page context. App can access page context to deliver context based experiences, such as generating summaries. So, enable page context for this feature to be enabled and to generate summaries. Once you enable page context, this feature becomes enabled in the browser. Only then it will work. Now web browser has the context for opened web page. It can summarize the web page by using its context. So the conclusion is ChatGPT may not be able to access internet, but it can use web scraping techniques to summarize a URL. Plugins are coming to ChatGPT that will enable it to access internet directly. If you don't want to use ChatGPT, use Microsoft Edge web browser to summarize any web page, article, blog, or PDF, even complex ones. It will save a lot of time and make you more productive. And you heard it here first. ChatGPT can't access internet, but it can use web scripting techniques to read content from the web. And Microsoft's web browser is cool again, right? Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.